tell you a story about a man named David. One day he walked the valley looking for five small stones. His opponent that day was a nine foot nine inch monster named Goliath of Gath. David, in her seventh year old boy, was never even trained in combat. Already having killed a lion and a bear with his bare hands while protecting his sheep, he saw Goliath as just another work hazard while he was now protecting his people. Running up to meet his challenger, David wound up his weapon of choice and with accurate precision thrust a rock into the fort of his adversary, killing him instantly. The Bible says David was a man after God's own heart. Later on, David became king. Already having multiple wives, he committed adultery with a woman named Bathsheba. She became pregnant, and to cover up the scandal, he had her husband killed. God never changed his mind about David, but we do. We change our minds faster than the heartbeat of a 13-year-old in their first kiss. And in most cases, it's due to one poor judgment call by someone that makes us forget anything positive they've done. Take Marie Curie. A scientist who discovered radium which has been used in the treatment of cancer cannot accept her second Nobel Peace Prize because she, a widow, had an affair with a married colleague. Or take Michael Phelps, winning an unprecedented 18 gold medals between three Olympics, had his endorsements from Kellogg's taken away after pictures surfaced of him, you remember, hitting a ball. They said, he doesn't <laughs> fit our image. What fucking image? <laughs> Your mascots are three men just saying snap, snap, crackle, and pop. Yep. And a tiger wears a scarf around his neck. <laughs> tiger Woods. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> while Bill Clinton was in office, while Bill Clinton was office, he raised minimum wage, created six million new jobs, and was the first president to ever address domestic violence issues. Yes, he may have lied under oath about his indiscretions, but Bush Light us into a war that has killed more Americans than the terrorist acts of 9 11 did. We judge. We judge like Mathis and Judy. We judge like white curly wigs and gavels fastened out of ignorance and hypocrisy. In 1692, during the Salem witch trials, 150 people were arrested and 19 were hung for a felony conviction of witchcraft. The youngest accused was four. Over 300 years later, we still haven't learned our lesson. We fight for rights we don't believe in. We preach about values we don't practice. We will chastise our children for doing things they learn from us. If God forgave David, then why can't we? None of us have reached the status of perfection. Mistakes will be made. Our goal is to learn from them. Like a kid learning to ride a bike or an immigrant the English language. Todos somos estudiantes de la vida. We are all students of life. Our job is to simply 